I've been binging Attack on Titan recently. Fantastic show. But there's one question that is eating me alive, and I'm hungry for answers. How many people <coughs> can a Titan eat? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've always been fascinated by competitive eaters. Joey Chestnut, the number of hot dogs that man can eat would kill a normal person. I think you'd die. <laughs> I'm, I have indigestion, I'm just talking about it. Did you hear that? And Attack on Titan was very attractive to me because I mean, essentially it's a show built around competitive eaters. These Titans, they just eat and eat and eat and they don't stop. Gosh darn it, man. Just talking about this is giving me indigestion. But a question no one has asked is, how many people can they eat? What's their capacity? But in order to get to the bottom of that, I'm gonna have to talk to somebody who loves Attack on Titan as much as I love eating. All right, well, you came to the right place. I know a lot about Attack on Titan. We don't know the inside structure of a Titan because they kind of just evaporate into air anytime they die. We could assume that the stomach makes up pretty much the entire, like, chest cavity. Chest cavity, too. Why not? They don't have they a heart. Breathe. They don't breathe. They are a stomach. Here's the main thing about Titans, though. Yes, they eat people, but they don't digest them. Hmm. They actually throw up the people. They're all chewed up and spat out in a big, like, mushy ball, which is very gross. Like a throat dump. That's like a nasty. throat dump. Thanks yeah, for that dude. visual. <laughs> it sounds like the first thing I need to do is measure that bile ball. I need to recreate it in 3D. We know that Sasha Browse is five foot six. If I can recreate that angle and project the texture down onto geometry, I can create a tube that is the same size as her and then scale a ball that is the same size as the bile ball. Now, drum roll, please. This bile ball is 2.6 meters in diameter. There it is. Is that upside down? Can you fix that? Thank you. The problem is, I don't know which Titan it came from. I've seen Attack on Titan. The Titan shifters, they don't consume human beings. So by process of elimination, anything bigger than this? Uh, uh, uh. We're worried about these ones. These are the people eaters. Let's test it. Ooh, my favorite one. Did this bile ball come from the gluttonous Titan? Nope. <laughs> no. I was really banking on the gluttonous Titan. <laughs> you know I just I like too? him. I like his silly little walk. Yeah. Bearded Titan. Ooh, that's really that's close. Cutting it close. It just barely fits inside mm -hmm. the stomach, but you can see like the shoulder blades just not really gonna get out. That leaves the smiling titan. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's in your blood, it's in your DNA. If it doesn't fit in this one, I'm quitting. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's a fit! That's, that's perfect. Yeah, it would need a little bit of squishing. The elastic nature of the neck can maybe compress this gelatinous ball and then it unhinges its jaw and oh, that's a bingo. That is a good accent. Yeah. That you did. Thank you. If only they had buttholes, you know? I know. They just oh, that would rip you asunder. That would be, yeah, birth. That's way worse. Yeah. Oh, birth. Yeah, human That's birth. A, I forgot about birth. birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah people women do this. Women actually go through that. That is not dissimilar from yep. birth. It's not much different. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh -huh. And now that we know that this came from a 15 meter Titan, we can use this to extrapolate the data for every other size mm. of Titan. So now that we know the volume of the Titan stomachs, I need to get bodies in tummies ASAP. Bodies and tummies. That's yep. crucial. And I'm gonna use Houdini's crowd simulation tools to do that. I was able to find a Levi Ackerman model on Sketchfab. You bite your food, right? Right? I go. A lot of these Titans do the same thing. They chomp. And so what I've prepared is half Levi's. Got the upper half, and of course. Just the Levi jeans. The Levi jeans, yeah, right? exactly. Right? And these are all rigged separately as separate agents, but I'm gonna feed them all into the same system. And what's beautiful is as many agents as you have, as long as they're set up properly, they'll all interact correctly, and it goes lightning fast. Let's do some orders, rapid Let's fire. How many? Orders, orders. How many Levi's you want? I like to place an order for one agent. I want to feed in... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is! Let's double it. Two bots, baby. Two! Order up. Dump it on me, baby. Woo. So like, two. oh! Oh. I'll, I'll take getting eaten by a Titan any day over this. Just a straight up nut Bonk. shot from a big old bowl. Can I get 55? Let's see if we can just chart those out real quick. Order up. Boop. Yum, 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 Here yum, they yum. come. Mm. Yummy in my tummy. 55 is pretty good. How about how about a thousand? That oh, that's a jump. Oh, Look at this. They're dripping out. We're gonna need a bigger it's hole, gross. I think. They're getting crushed. It's almost like a sausage grinder at it this is. point. But it's, it's so fun out. to watch. I know there are some of you that wish you were in that pile of Levi's. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm you doing. Rubbing or scrubbing? I can't what are you rubbing or scrub? So now that we've got all these agents, there's one thing left to do. Oh, you think I know? I was hoping. I don't, I know, I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I'm not really on the same page. I'm not sure what's happening, to be honest with you. Okay. Oh, how many people can a Titan eat? We are mere moments away from finding our answer. 
I know the volume of the stomach, thanks to the bile ball, and I know the shape of the stomach, thanks to that scene where Aaron gets eaten. There's just one thing that's still bothering me. As I started building these stomachs in 3D, I also started diving deeper into the science of eating. Oh, oh it's so disgusting. I hate this. 69! This is 69 hot dogs. First of all, nice. Second of all, <laughs> Joey Chestnut, he's a small dude. How does he fit 69 hot dogs in there? Well, he trains his stomach to stretch. A common misconception mm. is that the bigger you are, the more that you can eat. But the reality is, it's a technique thing. Mm -hmm. Size yep. pales in comparison to skill at the end of the day. This is shocking. Horrific. And so impressive to me. Competitive eaters have insanely strong jaws. Bite force of 280 pounds? Stronger than a German Shepherd's bite. What? The body is probably throwing indicators left, right, and center saying stop. And Joey's mind is saying no, 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 I'm just getting started. I mean, these guys are insane. They're using everything at their disposal. Gravity to force the food down faster. Air pressure to push the food down faster. It's human ingenuity at its finest. Yeah. And this is what the Titans don't have. They don't have that spirit, yeah. right? They're there to just do it. They're they're smiling, they're having a good yeah. time, whatever. No, Joey's there to work. Oh, yeah. He's there to put down dogs. He's there to expand and contract Dude. and masticate. What are you saying? Masti masticate. Like, masticate. Chew. You chew. Oh, you okay. know what I mean? Like open oh, mouth. You could just it's say awkward. chew. You could just say chew. Just say chew. If you think proportional, right? The Titans might be eating more, but Joey's the better eater. I think that if Joey Chestnut goes toe to toe with a Titan, all things being equal, he wipes the floor with him. When I started this experiment, I set out to learn a number. But the people need more than just a number, right? They need a hero. I have an idea. And it's definitely gonna be more work. It will definitely push me probably into the weekend a little bit, but it's worth the extra work to me. It's worth pushing a little bit harder to get an answer that will perhaps even inspire more than just a maze. I'm gonna embrace my inner Chestnut and keep moving forward. Hey Dean, oh, you like anime, right? I love anime, and you know what? You caught me in the middle of working on our most ambitious anime video to date. It's such a giant leap beyond the first one in terms of the technology, in terms of the story. We've had so much fun working on it, and it's coming out in a week, but <laughs> only on quarterdigital.com. Wow, that's awesome. And it's a lot more information than I wanted. So I have an Attack on Titan thing to show you. If you wanna come with me. Dean, what's up, man? Gentlemen, oh my Jesus. God. thank you for coming. We ran some simulations, and our wonderful young intern here, Emmett, helped me build some assets. Very helpful child, that boy. Now continue to be helpful and roll that clip. How many people can a Titan eat? Tiny boy, baby, how many can fit? One. Only one body in a gluttonous tight. Wow. I could probably fit one guy in. Yeah. I think you could. I believe in you, man. And I think you also just realized what that means. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 All, right. All right. Let's go. Next up, the nine meter Titan. Oh, is that Ren? That's Ren? Oh, I hate it. I hate the Ren. Oh, boy. Oh, that man. That seems like it's a lot of guys. Oh, it was even more. That ain't bad. 16. 16 guys. 16 bodies. Wow. wow. So I thought the progression would be like linear, but it seems like uh, exponential. And it's actually amazing how many more bodies you can pile into just a little more area like that. I was surprised at the differential. Let's see what a 15 meter Titan can do. That's loaded That's up. so many. How you like that? Oh. The sound effects. Here we go. That's a lot. 122 oh. and a half bodies. Wow. That's dude. a lot. That is crazy. That is exponential. It is. It's exponential. I used the right word. You did. And now we know. Now we have peace in our hearts. Cool. Yeah, we do. And that's it, right? Except yeah. we don't. Oh. We don't have peace in our hearts. We have one more competitor. One man has stood to say that he will dictate what is and is not possible in this world. I speak of this man. He's so tiny. He's so normal size. Come on, Joey. For he has broken reality. And all of time pours down around us now at once. 
This is so hype. Come on, Joey! And they say he shall live forever. For he does not do it for money. He does not do it for glory. He does it for his people. He does it for his country. He does it for freedom. Who we got? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know how many this is. That number has been tallied and will be revealed to all of us right now. Now, Joey brings some techniques to the table here that the Titans don't. His drive to masticate viciously in public, taking into account the mastication. Everything was bit in half. The restrictions on the joints, I've softened them a lot. Two important changes that I believe more accurately simulates what a human with Joey's capabilities could eat if he were the size of a Titan. Titans are otherworldly. They don't have internal organs. And I think that that gives them the edge here. Who will win? A monster born and built to eat or Joey's titanic spirit? We love you, Joey Chestnut. There you have it. If you enjoy videos about heroes who expand, check out this one we already made about the Hulk and whether or not his pants would rip. It's a good watch. Ready? Yeah. Go! That's <laughs> disgusting. It's so gross. It's my throat. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. <laughs>